Oh my God, it's been way too long since I've made a makeup tutorial. But you know what? Before we start, I think we all should take a sip of iced coffee. It's too good. It's too good. <laughs> Why would you say that? Ugh. Hey guys, how are you? It's Naomi Hart's XO, and I'm so excited to be here making another makeup tutorial for you guys. I have not made a makeup tutorial since, oh my god, December of last year. It's now May, late May, about to be June. My makeup has for sure changed. I am happy with it, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Every time I make a TikTok, every time I make a video or post a picture, um, you guys are always asking me for my makeup tips. And I'm like, you know what? It's time to show you guys my new and improved makeup. So without further ado, enough talking, let's get into it. So first things first is eyebrows. I have not begun them yet, as you can see. I haven't had the time to get them done yet either. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it while not having them done. Obviously if you have them done, it's easier. And if you don't, it's not, but let's get into it really quickly. You probably hear the little birds chirping outside, they're crazy. So as you can see, this one's filled in, this one isn't. It's not the best brow, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, OMG, it looks so good. But it's nice, and that's all I go for when it comes to brows. As long as it looks nice, as long as it doesn't look overly done or underdone, um, that's all that really matters to me because I kind of comb it after. So, okay, for now, we're gonna leave her like that. We're not gonna add too much. Then I go in with my little spoolie um, right here from Benefit, and you just kind of comb. I like the front to be combed out to look like there's barely any product on there just because for me it looks more natural. And then I kind of go in on the end as well and just kind of comb it out too. And like that, it kind of gives me a more natural effect of a brow versus looking heavily, heavily, you know, heavily browed up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one and then I'll be back. So this is the updated brow. I finished it. It looks a little crazy. They look a little, they look a little thick. However, I am going to fix that with the process of foundation. I used to clean up my brows. I don't clean them up anymore because I feel like when I clean them up, yeah, they might define them a bit more, but for me, it just looks, I don't know, it makes my makeup look a little um, sometimes unblended, cakey. Maybe for me, I just don't do it right and that's okay, but that is why I do it a different way now and I'm gonna show you, so let's get into okay. it. As you guys know, I love a good primer, and my favorite primer still to this day is e.l.f. Putty Primer. However, however, um, recently Makeup Revolution, now known as Revolution Beauty, sent me a PR package um, of some of their new face and body products, and they sent me the Body Blur, Blurring Body Stick, and it's their version of a primer. And it's like a little, you know, like a little bomb, but actually I really love it because it actually like really conceals everything, but doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is something that I really, really appreciate. So I kind of just go in, I know some people warm it up on their skin before, um, just to get the product really going, but I put it in all of my problem areas. For me, it's like my nose where the most pores, my forehead 100%, right here on my face, right here on my other side of the face, and it should be good, you know? Once that's done, once you rub it where you need it to rub, you go ahead and take your hands and just blend it into the skin as much as possible because it leaves it feeling so silky smooth. So I'm gonna finish rubbing this in and then we're gonna get started with our foundation and you're gonna see how that changed. A little close up so you guys can see how the actual um, blur stick blurs. Like I should have done a before and after but I just thought about it. But look how good my skin looks. That's crazy! 
Okay, let's go into the foundation. So we're gonna jump into foundation. Um, my foundation game has changed a little bit. I used to be obsessed with Urban Decay and I still am to an extent, but I'm kind of taking a break from her because I feel like it's just been leaving me a little cakey, especially heading into the summer months. So I transitioned into my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, hydrating creams. What well, is my favorite hydrating cream, but I use it as a foundation. So I guess one of my favorite foundations. Um, and I just got gifted by Revolution Beauty, the Body Veil Foundation. It's a little bit too dark, but when I mix it in with my um, Bare Minerals, it like matches perfectly. I was gonna say fits perfectly, but it matches perfectly. And it honestly, this foundation is top tier. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I've never used Revolution Beauty before. Um, when I worked at Ulta, I saw it. I saw a lot of people buying it, but just for me, um, for some reason, I just, I don't know. I never got like excited by it, but when they sent it, I actually got to try it. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. It's really good. And it actually does um, wonders. It's like light coverage, but it's buildable coverage. And it just leaves the skin looking amazing. So enough of me talking. Let's get into it. And you guys can see for yourself. So what I'm gonna do is show you. So this is my beauty blender. You're gonna go ahead and just put your foundation. As you can see, it is a little dark, right? It's a little dark. Um, just a little bit more. No, I think that's fine. So I was gonna add a little. Ah! I was gonna add a little bit more, but I think that's fine for now. Um, and then I go in with my bare minerals, and I put that over as well, just because. Just like that, right? So it does look like a lot, but like I said, it's gonna work, trust. Then, sorry, I had to get my little mixing brush. I, I used to use this to kind of carve out my eyebrows. I don't do that anymore. So I kind of blend them together like a little chemist. We're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing. We're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing. Okay, then I put some on my face so we don't waste the product. And now we're gonna just start going in. So I'm gonna show you. I just go like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. And it does look like a lot. It does look like a lot, but when I blend it out, it's gonna be fine, trust me. So I'm gonna start blending and then I'll come back so you guys can see. I'm still blending, we're blending a dream. We're blending a dream. We're blending like a dream, <laughs> okay. So I just keep going over. I try not to go under my under eyes because I'm trying to just leave that for concealer so I don't have to add extra layers that I don't need. Um, but if you, if you, as you guys can see, the, the way it matches is actually pretty good. And it looks a little wet right now because it's a dewy foundation. Um, but you're gonna see how it all mats down and how it all ties together really well. And I'm excited for you guys to see the finished product. So I'm going to continue blending. And then when I'm done blending, I'll be back. So this is the finished blend at the moment. I'm taking off any excess with the bottom of my beauty blender. Um, and just making sure that it's as smooth as possible. Um, it's looking pretty cute. I'm not mad at it. Like I said, the, look at how well it matches with my neck and like even here. It's actually a pretty good match, which I'm proud about. That's a pimple, you can ignore her. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop blending. I did wanna say really quick that what I do now, instead of carving out my brows, is whatever excess foundation I have, I kind of take it into my um, eyelid and take it almost underneath my brow and kind of just carve out my brow like that. And by carve, I mean just kind of like fill in the space so it doesn't look like an uneven gap. Um, but we're gonna go into concealer and I'll be back. So concealer, before I used to be really heavy with it, but I realized that I don't need that much concealer. What I do now is a little bit here, and here, a little bit here, and here, and here, like always, and here. That's really all you need. Um, you don't really need a lot. I know some people like to do the triangles. I used to be one of those people, um, but I don't really do that anymore. This is kind of my update um, in terms of makeup. So I'm gonna take you through all my new steps. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I blend it because I do add more concealer towards the end, like my nose. Um, 
but let's let's start blending so i added on here because sometimes i do get like a little bit of a gray area or a beard area and i don't really color correct like i used to so what i do is i just put concealer to kind of light in that area and it kind of helps me a lot um i do the concealer under my eyes like always the difference now is that i don't do as much as i used to um so now i don't have to worry too much about it getting cakey there because i don't put foundation i leave like a little empty space and then i just blend it out and same thing even though i put foundation i also put concealer on my eyelid um sometimes this can be an issue for me i'm still trying to work around it but that's my best right now <laughs> so and by issue i mean like sometimes it'll like start to crease but it's okay for now so as you can see i'm still blending it looks a little crazy but i always say trust the process i feel like my makeup always looks a little crazy before it's finished go to the other side and start blending and then i'm gonna finish and when i'm done you'll see the finished blend blend is done we finished it looks good now what's new is bronzing so i don't really contour i contour bronze i know some people are like oh, what but for me i feel like it works so i used to bronze with just powder but now by beauty bakery the insta bake i think it's a concealer it's a three-in-one concealer i use this to bronze so i do a little bit on my forehead both sides i used to do a little cut here but i don't like that anymore so i just go all in here and then over here as well just do my little mark and then of course on the nose i used to do a lot more but now i kind of just do a little bit and then we're gonna blend it out so i have my little shape i get the same beauty blender that i've been using and i just go in you know i just go in start blending it out give myself some warmth into my skin bring it up and it actually looks really really good at the end because you're not adding too much and i feel like it really warms up the skin the way that it's supposed to warm it up see this is one side and then i'm gonna do the other and then i'll be back again so now that it's fully blended as you can see the warmth is coming in i do my nose i wanted to do my nose specifically for you guys so you can see how i do it but let's get into it so what i do is I blend one side out and just stick to that side specifically. I hope you guys can see it. And then I do the other side. And even if it turns my whole nose warmer, I cut it with concealer after, which is why I didn't add concealer to my nose at first. Because I at least try to get the shape down before I add the concealer. So now that it's blended, what I do, what I do, Oh, I add a little bit of concealer to my forehead, just a little bit, and I add a little bit to my nose, just a little bit. And what I do is get the same beauty blender and blend it out. And then, sorry, I'm just so focused. There you go, there you have it. You have the space between your two um, bronzed areas. Same thing with your nose. And this is how it's starting to look. Let's continue. Now that basically all the creams are on the face for the most part, I go in with powders. And what I do with the powders for the most part, these are just like, fixing powders at this point so you know i do bronzer if i ever don't hit everything that i want to hit with the cream i'll just go over a little bit with the powder just to make sure that it doesn't look patchy to make sure that it looks even to make sure that the colors really pop all of that good stuff and that's kind of what i do and that's for everything um, so after the powder, I go in with setting powder. One of my holy grails of setting powder still to this day, Airspun. Um, I think it's just such a good powder. I really do. I really, really do. If you are someone who sweats a lot, if you are someone that gets hot easily and your makeup's going to run, any of any of those, um, you know, I was going to say explanations, but any of those things, um, 
This is just a setting powder that really has helped me. So what I do is, again, the nose. I'm a little crooked today, so I can't get a straight line. The forehead, the side of the nose, and then underneath the mouth, above the mouth, again, just to widen it, and a little bit under the eye, nothing too crazy. And this is kind of what I do to just make sure that I make everything a little bit more precise and defined. Next is blush, and I already kind of went in, um, but what I do essentially, this is my favorite blush by Physicians, Physicians Formula, and it's Vintage Rouge, Rouge, Rogue? You know what I mean. Um, it's such a cute blush. Anyway, I use my blush brush and I just go in. So what I do essentially is just tap, take off the excess, and then just dab it into the skin like that. And it looks a little bit extra because I haven't fully blended it out yet. I usually do that with my setting spray. But yeah, then something I learned was from my friend Debbie and Chris actually, um, put it on your forehead because you know, we have natural blush everywhere. When we get nervous and we blush, we turn red. So that's something I learned, um, but yeah. It looks a little crazy right now, but it's gonna come together. Trust me. Now it's time for eyeshadow. I know I still look crazy. What I wanna do first is you can see there's already creasing. What I do is get my finger and kind of just blend that out. And it also takes off the excess concealer or foundation that's on my eyelid. Same thing for the other eye and voila. So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mirror again. And what I'm gonna do first, put that little, I'm gonna use the ColourPop, um, anyway, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. Such a good palette, I love it, one of my favorites. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in in the color Bluffing. This is the actual way it looks, and it's called Bluffing. It's the first one, it's that really white one, and I kinda use that as like my base for the, all the cream that's on my eye just so that it won't crease throughout the day. So that's kind of what I'm going in with. And I kind of do both eyes at the same time. I don't know, I find that it takes up less time and it's just easier to go on and about and do. So yeah, then I'm gonna go in with All Natural. I don't know, I don't really go crazy with eyeshadow. I wish I did, I wish I knew how to do eyeshadow more, but I kind of just stick to what I know. The one thing I do know is a good base. I don't know, a good base came with practice, but I just make sure that it looks brown and blended and gorgeous and naturals are my favorite kind of colors for eyes. As you can see, it's already popping. And yeah, so I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back and we'll get into it. Okay, so it finished. It might sound a little like we're in a wind tunnel right now because it's in, I'm in LA and it got really hot, so I turned the fan on. You know, I didn't want to sweat off my makeup before even finishing. So now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this white powder off of my face. Um, and I kind of use a big kabuki brush with bristles, bristles that are like looser. Because I have a thick bristle, but bristle. Oh my god, I can't even get it correct. I think it's a, it's bristle. Um, but these are loose bristles. So I kind of use that to kind of just blend everything out because it doesn't move the foundation around like the thick bristle one would. So I kind of just go in all over the face, take it off, and voila. Now it's coming together a little bit more. Hi. Okay. So this is where it gets crazy. Usually I do setting spray after I do like my um, my eyeliner, but I think I'm gonna do it first today. So I used to go in with Morphe. Now I go in with the Body Fixing Spray by Revolution Beauty. I like it, I just don't like the way it comes out. It comes out a little crazy, even though I shake it like it's recommended. Um, but I'm gonna show you. So. So now that that's on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I do best, which is, look at my iced coffee, <laughs> which is blending. So I get my same beauty blender and I'm gonna go ahead and dab it into the skin. And this is what I mean where I let the blush just sit there because I let it soak in that excess amount of setting spray and I just take off all the extra blush that's on my face that doesn't need to be. And this really makes it look snatched. It makes it look amazing. 
and I really like how it turns out that way. It's already looking good. It's already looking great, but let's continue. So I'm gonna do eyeliner now. It's not easy, so I'm gonna do time-lapse version and just pray that it comes out looking good. So get ready for it right now. Well, I was gonna do a time-lapse, but the lighting is not looking great when I do the time-lapse video capture. I don't know why. So I'm gonna just try to do it here um, and hope for the best. So I start on the inner corner always. Even though I messed up already. I always start on the inner corner. And just build my way out. Just like that. Then I switch eyeliners. Um, for some reason that one just doesn't do well on the actual cat eye or, you know, the actual wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch with the finer tip. And voila, that's how you do a little wing. I tried my best. Now let's do the other one and hope that it looks the same. Okay, so the eyeliner came out really cute actually. So next I'm gonna go in with my lashes in the style Modelo um, by Bevy's Beauty. You can use code Naomi20 for 20% off at checkout. I definitely recommend it. She is a Chicana owned small business. Um, I don't get anything from her except gifts. Um, so I'm happy she gave me a code for my followers who love makeup as much as I do to be able to use. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking her out. She is someone that believed in me since the start and I'm so glad that I get to support her small business um, that's growing every day, you know? I'm, I'm proud of her. So I hope you guys definitely check that out using my code or not. So let's get into putting them on okay so i still to this day struggle with lashes i don't know what it is i just can't seem to like get it correct i try everything and i'm still learning like yes my makeup looks cute but it's a process it's definitely a process so i'm gonna go ahead and put the glue um oh maybe i should be using her glue baby's beauty actually just came out with the lash glue i was using the duo one but Bevy's Beauty came out with the lash glue. I actually like it. My only issue with this is I'm going to be honest. Um, I feel like the applicator, like the actual app. Oh, my camera's over here. <laughs> I feel like the actual applicator is kind of thin. So I feel like it doesn't pick up as much product as I wish it would. Because, I don't know, for me, I just like a lot of glue just because it makes me feel like it's supporting it. Even if it doesn't, it's just like my personal thing. Um, and I feel like it doesn't give me enough. I feel like really go in there. Other than that, I feel like the formula itself is pretty good. Um, I like the consistency of it. It really is just that applicator that I don't appreciate. Um, but you guys can check it out for yourself and leave some thoughts and let me know what you guys think. Okay. Oh, I think I got some in my eye. Okay. So now that that's that... There's the packaging. I forget my camera's over here. It has a little heart or a rose. A little rose. Okay, let's get into it. So this is for my right eye. I'm gonna try. Let's hope. not bad so now i'm gonna do the second one and then i'll be back i feel like i look like a queen let me get a little bit closer 
This is no filter, guys. I'm sure you guys can see my separate lashes because I'm so close. Let me try to get them together, honey. Hold on. Whatever, what's I gonna do? But I'm happy with how my makeup is turning out. What do you guys think? I'm not done yet, gotta do lips, but we'll see. Okay, so I know you guys love my lip color, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what I use. So I, and honestly, that's why I said, I don't really give a specific one, but any lip liner by KKW Beauty, this one's the nude three. Um, I need to sharpen it. I don't know you can sharpen it, so I broke my other one thinking <laughs> that it was just, um, I don't know, maybe one that like twisted, but no, you have to sharpen it, even though it doesn't feel like it. I am running out, so it might not be as great as it could be. But I kind of just line my lip, right? And then... I do the little mm, 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 because when you do the mm, 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 it gives you that whole stunning transfer from bottom to top and you can just kind of fill in especially when you're running low or don't have a sharpener okay so now that that's done it might look a little dark now but you guys love it so what I do is I go in with my favorite lipstick. I'm running out of it as well. It's London by NYX. Such a good lipstick, especially with this color combo. And you just go, just get it all in there. and once you got all of that I go in with a really good lip gloss it's a lip glass I think actually in the shade Nymphette I think is what it's called by MAC and look at it That is the finished product. That is the finished product, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if you guys hate it. Let me know if this was helpful. I know I'm not like the most lavish beauty guru. I don't have the most, but I make do with what I have. Um, so I hope this helped a little bit. This is the finished product up close. A little bit closer. As you can see, no filter. You can see a little bit of my pores. The match is still great. So yeah, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you want more of. I know I did a couple of like days in my life. I did a couple like mini vlogs. If you want a longer one, let me know. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to post on YouTube. So please let me know what you guys want to see. More makeup tutorials I can try. Um, definitely a little bit closer next time. But I think I did pretty well. This is my updated one. I'm really happy with it. I think it's super cute. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for 200,000 on TikTok. The giveaway is still happening and it's happening very soon. Um, as you guys know, I did say I'm going to give away a Nintendo Switch. It's just hard to find any of that right now. But once they come on sale, I'm going to go buy it and we will be continuing with the giveaway. So thank you so much for 200K and almost 30K on Instagram. You guys are everything. I love you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. So remember, you guys are my little hearts. Keep shining and I love you guys. Bye.